Hello everybody. It's the day I've been dreading, but needs to happen. It's the day to paint this room. I have already started taking stuff down. Take a look at some of the areas. Got to figure this out. What I would like to do is take this corner round off and buy a piece where I can uh, go all the way up to the ceiling. I don't know why it stops like that. But that's one of the things do, to do there. And of course, just general wear and tear. This is a heavily used room. I've got some of those clear plastic protectors that are going on those corners after I get done painting. And then kind of some of the same stuff here. General wear and tear. That's been an eyesore for quite some time. We'll fix that. Just look at it closely. There's just spots here and there. It's time for a fresh coat of paint. File cabinets out. Absolutely filthy back there. I don't know if there's any remedy for that, but we've got a big scrape there. Looks like the file cabinet sits about two inches from the wall there. So I don't know if I could just stick like a 2x4 or something back there and mount it on the wall and then slide the file cabinet back there. Maybe it will get a little bit less dirty. I don't know. And then one that, that was put together, they didn't even tape and bed that. But, so, I don't know. I may just leave that. I don't care. It's just a laundry room. So, yep. And I don't know if, if this time I'm going to be able to address these painted over hinges. Maybe. But it's going to be a chore. I'm going to have to take one off at a time clean it, put it back on, then move on down the line. So it's going to be quite the pain, but got to get it done. And then chip paint. I'll for sure taking these cabinet doors down and cleaning those hinges up. These are truly an eyesore. I really don't like stuff like that. But I'll get it. And then see you got got three hinges done over here, so that looks much better. But still got two of the old hinges down there. And then of course up there, painted over hinges. Don't know why they did that. Not sure. I guess I'll go ahead and take this down. First step will be getting the cleaner with phosphates and giving it a bath. Then we'll go from there. Of course, we're going to have to pull everything out. While it's out, I'll clean underneath it. So, it's a multitasking day here. So, that's not going to be able to record any of this because there's just going to be too much out here. Too much in the way to put the camera up. and So, everything's going to have to go out in the middle. There's just no way to set a tripod up. So, we'll get it done and then come back and take a look at it. Here's progress report number one. There's the dirt from the walls and ceiling of half of the room. And we got this wall painted and this one with the window. back in that corner where the file cabinet goes. We've got to get the different paint out to paint this wood. I've got the same color and then the it's that Benjamin Moore Advance. That's pretty good stuff for painting cabinets and things like that indoors. It'd be the same paint that's 
that door is painted. I left those holes there because that's what mounts that ship that hangs here. So no need to fill those in and then just ream them out again. But yeah, that's going to look a lot fresher and cleaner in here. And then i got to use that same Benjamin Mort Advance to do the baseboard. And take note, I take the plates off when I paint. It's been a little while since I did an update. So, got all the walls painted, finally. You can see where the paint's still wet to the left. Where I pulled out the washer and the freezer. Still got to paint this little uh, false wall here where all the pipes are behind. I'm going to paint that with the Benjamin Moore Advanced. So I'll take those screws out and roll that out right quick and paint the baseboard and that'll be done. And then uh, this is going to have to wait for another day. It's almost 11 o'clock at night. Took the cover down and uh, sprayed it. These cabinet doors are painted so that's done inside and out. I will need to go ahead and do this side of the cabinet or I can slide the freezer back in. And then I've got the, I took these doors down and took them outside and repainted them. So I'll put those back up tomorrow. But looking a heck of a lot better than it did. This wall here was getting pretty beat up. I went with the satin finish. This sheetrock's just too darn rough for uh, any kind of gloss. So the low sheen hides a lot of the imperfections in this room. Didn't paint the ceiling. It doesn't really need it. Nothing wrong with the ceiling. But these corners came out pretty nice. I'll get those those uh, corner protectors on the 26th. Don't know when this video is going live, sometime in November. But uh, got to get the baseboards finished, and that turned out decent. I've got to put a little bit more paint on that. But went ahead and slid the file cabinet back in place. And I'm going to come up with a solution for that, maybe a 2x4 or something back there will uh, remedy that issue where stuff doesn't go behind there. Here's one of my little pet peeves. This was done by a professional. Never mind the paint on the the elbow there, but that plywood still has bare wood showing. My amateur self is going to fix that. And that are just taking a couple extra moments. Everything is painted those screws back in and go to the next step. Well unfortunately I had a switch plate break. Good news! Thank goodness for new old stock. So I'll get that brand new one put on and we should be set. I think I'm going to call it a night. I started maybe 9.30 this morning or yesterday morning.